You! What are you doing here? Get out! Wait. This is all your fault. He'd never have found us if it wasn't for you. No, I came here to- Leave! You don't belong here! Leave us alone! Get out right now! Oh, Anne. I'm so sorry. You don't mean... Fig. Not you too. I'm sorry, Fig. Do not say another word. I didn't mean to. You alone are responsible for this enforcer. This is where all your actions have led us. You're right. No, Anne. He's right. It's all my fault. What's happening? What did you do to him? Put that Arca down. Show some respect, girl. Where's Anne? <gasps> Impossible. Fig? What did you do to me? I don't know. I was gone. I'm so sorry, Fig. I guess a stupid soulless thing like myself will have to settle for that. I don't believe it. You think I'd leave you in charge, Bob? And. What happened after I left? I found a crystal cave. I met a spirit in there, and she changed my Arca somehow. She told me she was the world's first memory. She also told me that if Banku turns on the ether bridge, the world will cease to exist. Bob, she met a spirit in a crystal cave. Don't start. She met the caretaker. There's no question about it. It's the only explanation for all of this. The caretaker doesn't exist. A spirit in a cave? A first memory? One who just happened to give Anne the ability to revive forgotlings? I don't care. But if our Arca can revive distilled forgotlings, I'm afraid we do need our help. What do you say, Enforcer? Should we set aside our differences? Let's do it. Wonderful. The first thing we need to- I'm joining Fig, not you. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. I have a plan, and as much as I hate to admit it, we need your help, Enforcer. Ah. I'm doing this so no Forgotling will ever be distilled or hurt again. I couldn't have put it better myself, Anne. Fig, why are you staring at me? No reason. There are a lot of distilled Forgotlings outside. I better get to work. When you're done, let's meet in the hall and discuss our plan of attack. Anne, Fig and Bulb are waiting for you in the hall. We need to plan what is ahead. I'm so happy I got to see you again. Me too. I have so many questions, but we never have the time. You already carry all the answers.
what happened? I'm returning the favor. Thank you, Anne. Forsha, ma'am. never told me what happened here while I was gone. It's a long and sad story. Are you sure you want to hear it? I want to know what happened. It all went very fast. After our talk at the plant, I ran to the service track we used and drove back. I arrived here expecting the worst, but everyone was fine. I was in the middle of delivering my report when I heard an explosion, and Banku himself came through the roof on a mining lift. He was here? In person? Are you sure you want to hear the end of this? Of course. Tell me everything. Well, Banku broke through the roof. Validated forgotlings were everywhere. They set fire to the linen, and before I knew it, everything burned. Banku was distilling everyone that crossed his path. I decided to hide the survivors in the memorial. There, we sat, just waiting for him. And of course, he found us. I got up, and I looked him in the eye. Then he yelled, where is she? But before I could answer, the light faded around me. No pain, just darkness creeping in from all sides. The next thing I know, the light returned, and there you are. I'm sorry you had to go through that. We have to stop him. We will. My savior. Well, I don't know about that. Truly an honorable deed. I am forever grateful. And I know exactly how we can take Bonku down with one swift blow. All right, let's do this. I look forward to hearing your thoughts, sir. Can't wait. Recently, I spoke to a Forgotling with insight into the Tower Grounds. I've crafted a plan based on the information he gave me. Who was this Forgotling, and where is he now? I'm afraid I haven't seen him after the attack. What was his name? 
It was none other than the great Crate Boxton. Who is this unsung hero? The bravest forgotling I've ever met. Uh, Bob? It was me in disguise. I'm Crate Boxton. What? We wanted to get the Arca back. That can't be right. It's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember? It was you. You tricked me. I am sorry about that, Bulb. But I have a suggestion. A plan? Yes. Here's my plan. We simply walk in. Through the main gate? Banku sealed that a long time ago. There's a secret entrance in my house, though. I knew it. Dilly was right. You still need to get past the checkpoints at the central station and tower grounds. We'll pretend I've caught Fig. Everyone will think I was on Banku's side all along. That's quite a gamble. It'll work. The secret tower entrance in my house is protected with an Arca lock. I can't open it alone. I'll go with you. Maybe the two of you can sneak in, but you'll need backup in case something goes wrong. He's right. Let me round up my friends from Scrappers. Once Fig and I are inside the tower, we can turn off Banku's security systems, and then the road will be clear for Bulb and his friends. When we see the security system is off, we blow a hole in the wall and storm in. All right, but I want to speak to Banku before you do anything, Bulb. I have to convince him not to activate the ether bridge. Anna's is right. Fiscal confrontation is our last resort. Did you hear that, Bulb? Yes, yes, fine. Now that's positive thinking. I'm sure it'll work. I wish you the very best of luck. The journey is dangerous. The town will be occupied by Forgotlings loyal to Bonku. Not to mention lost pieces. What about the thing up in the top of the tower? That's just a story. There's nothing living in the tower except Ku. Let's not start with the ghost stories. I think we all deserve a good night's sleep before we leave tomorrow. Anne, you can rest at my place. Force earlier, she can summon Forgotlings back to life. That's crazy. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I wonder. Should anybody have that kind of power? What if she turns on us? Good evening, Anne. The bed is ready for you. You must be tired. I am. Thank you, Blanket. Good night. Sweet dreams, Anne. Blanket? Hmm? What do you remember from your life in the ether? It's a strange thing. You don't remember your life up there until you arrive here. What do you mean? I remember being there. I remember being wrapped around you. I remember your mother. But I was not really there. Oh. I'm the luckiest forgotling here, you know. I'm already with my owner. I like that. Me too. <sighs> See you tomorrow, Blanket. Good night, Anne. I cannot believe I have to adjust this again. You are growing so fast. I want to be this big! Oh, you will. Just one more adjustment, and your Arca is ready again. Why do I have to wear that? Because you are very, very special, Anne. We'll always be together, right? Of course. <laughs> Time to get up, Blanket. Blanket? <gasps> My blanket. Morning, Anne. Ready to go? What's wrong? Oh. Are you all right? Yes. It was her time. 
We had such a good talk with her last night. About the ether. I'll have someone move her to the memorial. Thank you. <sighs> well, let's go then. to scrappers to gather his group. Once we turn off Banku's security system, they'll blow the tower ground wall. Which way do you suggest we take? Uh, if we want to keep out of Banku's way, we have to take the lower streets. You know the lower streets aren't safe. We'll make it. Let's go through here. Let's go. Teamwork in there. <laughs> it's all chaos. Bunko made an appearance at the square. I heard that the rebel leader. Mr. Fig has been dispelled. Don't listen to rumors. Last I heard, Jim Forster herself was seen strolling about being friendly with Mr. Fig. It's better <laughs> if we don't take sides in this war. Well, we'll have to do it sooner or later. I hope it never comes to that. I've been here before. An engineer called Daisy lives here. 
She was designing a rocket last time I spoke to her. Come on, there's an exit at the top of the staircase. Well, we can't get through here. I wonder if Banku caused this mess. We can probably climb Daisy's rocket and get out that way. The rocket is gone. I guess she finally launched it. Flying to the ether. Is that even possible? I guess we'll never know. And now we have to find another way to get out. What's that? And lost pieces. And a cave. Get off me, please. Lost pieces. And. I can't. What's happening, Anne? They're helping us. I hope. Why are you thinking them? They almost devoured us. Don't you see? They're not lost pieces anymore. Well, how nice for them. Bye, take care. All right, can we move on now, please? At least we're safe now. Let's hope they find some peace. You have some powerful friends, Anne. I'm not sure. It must have been the caretaker. <laughs> Remember the last time we were here? Don't remind me. It wasn't that long ago. Feels like another life. Come on, follow me. If you think you can convince me otherwise, you haven't made a bell.